welcome to today's episode of Refresh, our daily live morning show that only brings you the most positive, the most uplifting, the most inspirational videos from around the web. My name is Cassie. I'm an editor here at Little Things. Right there behind the camera is my wonderful husband, Paul. Say hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Whoa, Paul is going to be joining us after our videos to read your comments, to have some fun, to update our prayer jar, so please be sure to stick around for that. But first, we are going to get to these videos, starting with video number seven. We have an endangered cheetah mom who gives birth to five little babies on camera. Let's take a look. All right, so this was filmed at the Metro Richmond Zoo, and this is three-year-old Milani. Now, what's really, really important about this is that uh, cheetahs are actually dangerously close to extinction. So this birth is really, really important. There are less than 7,100 cheetahs in the wild. So it's really important that zoos like this uh, help cheetahs give birth, keep the species going, protect them and nurture them. And this den that she's in right now is actually, they, they made it for her. It's exactly like the kind of den she would make in the wild. So she feels safe and secure. She's getting comfortable. She is having these little babies. So she is actively searching for a good location to give birth. It's a good mom right there. It's a good mom. But imagine what our world would be without these creatures. That is why it is so important to support zoos, to help them support wildlife, because they are doing tremendous, tremendous work. All right, so at 4.26 a.m., she gives birth to cub number one. Number so one. 4.30, you said? 4.26? Yep. That's too early in the morning. Are very early. Five tiny babies. Five little babies. What time did you guys give birth to your babies? What time were you born? I was born at 5.20 p.m. on Christmas. What time were you born? No idea. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Got Ashley Connor saying, Woohoo, you're live. I've missed you all this week due to sleeping in. Sleeping in's good though, Ashley. Oh, Ashley, I'm glad you're here. I'm, I was just thinking about you last night. Oh, is that baby two? Oh, yeah, this is 522 a.m. This is cub number two. If you are just joining us, guys, this is Refresh. This is three year old Milani. She is an endangered cheetah mom. There are less than 7,100 cheetahs left in the wild. I didn't know that. I, I know. Thought, I it's thought very, they were all right for some reason. Yeah, their, their numbers are threatened due to human involvement, as always, uh, you know, eating into their, uh, their homes and threatening their numbers, either through poaching or hunting. Um, so that's why these zoos are so, so, so important. And it might seem a little odd. You might think, well, why not just have her give birth in the wild where animals belong? In most cases, they can't because their numbers are threatened. So in order to preserve these beautiful creatures, we have to uh, preserve them in the zoos. So it's really important. All right, the day has broken. Oh. 7.29 a.m. She gives birth to cub number three. I love cheetahs. Do you know they're... It's those, like a baby per hour. Those black... Yeah, it is like a baby per hour. Those black lines under their eyes are actually um, similar to what football players yeah. wear underneath their eyes. I don't know what those are called. At 10.05 a.m., she gives birth to cub number four. We got Vicky saying baby Wyatt was born at 12.51 a.m. His first Ooh. birthday's coming up. The sad face. Why sad? Oh, no, because your baby's growing up. Uh, Amber He's saying 1.30 p.m., June 25th, my little girl. Oh. I wonder like what's, Furnace, good morning. I wonder what's better, like giving birth in the early morning, giving birth in the afternoon. Does it affect what time you get to leave the hospital? I don't know how this no. stuff works. Where's cub number five? There it is, 11.34 a.m. Congratulations, Mom. So we now have five brand new cheetah cubs in the world, thanks to the Metro Richmond Zoo. Look at her. Cheetah babies. There they are. Lamika saying beautiful babies. Beautiful little babies. Hi, Sade. Ah. Uh, Gorgeous. So important to preserve these creatures. So important to keep them on our planet. So thank you to the Metro Richmond Zoo. All right, guys. Video number six in our countdown. We have a daughter who uses a hilarious card game to make a very special announcement to her mom. Let's take a look. Hi, Magon Abby Grandmo here. Hi, Magon Abby Grandmo there. This is the game Mad Gab. Hi, Mago and Abby, good grandma there. <laughs> Get it. You got the last part. Keep going. No, I'm yes. wasting time on no, that one. No, you're fine. I'm, I don't want, <laughs> I'm Mago and Abby, <laughs> grandma there. 
Be I'm Italian. Go I'm a gonna be. I'm gonna be around more there. Oh, I'm my, I'm my own mother. I, I'm my own mother. <laughs> I'm, I'm a go. I be a grandmother. <laughs> You're so close. Okay, okay. close enough. How about this one? Hashlin may sooner pregnant. Hashlin may. This is so hard. Pregnant. Yeah. I may soon be pregnant. Close. Really? Ash I don't know. <laughs> Ashley and Mason are pregnant. Ashley and Mason are pregnant. <gasps> you want to try this one again? I'm. I'm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm gonna be a grandma. No! <laughs> <laughs> Freak it out. Oh, oh Bob's can scream. <laughs> yeah, turn your volume oh. down. Oh. <laughs> Look at the dog. <laughs> Look at the dog. <laughs> he doesn't get it, but he's so excited. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I made the Ashley is very, very creative. creative. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell me you did it. What? Do you, wait, what do you mean you didn't tell me you did it? Yeah. Does, yeah. She, <laughs> does she tell you every time? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. <laughs> that took way longer than I thought. And then she's passing on the grandmother card. I'm like, no! no we will not let you pass. Yeah. His poor little heart is going as fast as mine. Oh. It's so okay, cute. Ollie. I know that was a scary moment. Oh, what an amazing video. But let's keep moving right along to video number five in our countdown. We have the incredible moment that a, a man grabs a swan to save her from a deadly fish hook. Let's take a look. This man is Stefan. I'm going to talk over because it's in a different language that I don't understand. <laughs> uh, and he's a volunteer animal rescuer. So he's just doing this. Out of the kindness of his heart, he's brought some breadcrumbs. He's luring the swan. Clearly, he's oh, noticed the hook. Poor swan. So he's kind of gaining the swan's trust, waiting for the right moment. Now, we do not recommend you do this at home. Trained swan rescuer. The swan is a brave, brave soul. And he knows what he's doing here. He knows what he's doing. It seems a little rough, but just watch. Just watch why he had to get the swan. <laughs> Little so he brings out like a what looks like pantyhose to slip over the swan's eyes so that she's not alarmed and she kind of calms down. So it's not here the factor. It seems like she knows she's being rescued. I feel like animals do know. I think they have an instinct for when humans are helping them out. Look at that. So that's not only a fish hook in in her arm. It's also the the fishing string wrapped tightly around her oh, foot. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So this is what's really, really important when we go out in nature. It's great to enjoy nature and appreciate it and, and go out, fish. But, you know, be careful of what we leave behind because animals are affected by it. And they don't have thumbs. They don't have thumbs. They don't have thumbs. <laughs> They're they, important. They thing. can't reach and say, ow, oh, what's that? So here he's bringing her back. And look, there she goes. She's all better. Which he probably brought her to a vet or something. Probably brought her to a vet, got her some medical attention. There she is, reunited with her her husband. I'm going to say it's her swan husband. Oh, husband and wife. Could be boyfriend. I'm going to go for husband. They seem pretty committed. But really, thank goodness for people like Stefan who go out of their way, who take the time to help animals in need. Just be very, very careful. If you ever decide to do it yourselves, probably leave it to the experts. But all right, guys, before we continue with our top seven countdown, me and Paul are going to take a little baby. Video number four in our countdown, we have a blind and deaf baby who instantly calms down the second that dad does something special to his cheek. Let's take a look. Okay, this is Gideon mad, and this is what happens when Daddy does this. Ah! Look at him! Everybody loves raspberries. Everybody loves raspberries, right? <laughs> oh. How do we make him better? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> mad. <laughs> Learned that this calmed Gideon down. <laughs> oh no! Every time. Every time. 
Yep, I love this that is, face. This is what Paul actually, little known fact, um, little known fact you guys might not know at home, when Paul cries, which is often, often. I blow raspberries on his yeah. cheeks and it calms and him it down. And it calms me down. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty remarkable. It's really a beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to witness. All right, video number three <laughs> in our countdown. We have brave cops who come to the rescue when a family finds something pretty terrifying behind their couch. Let's take a look. No, I just, uh... You need a shovel? I got a shovel. Hold on. All right, what do you guys think? What would you do if you found this? Look at it. A deadly snake. Amber calls raspberries Zerberts. Zerberts? I like it. Ooh, watch Ooh. this guy. It's a brave cop. No, he's gonna, he ain't gonna kill it. This is Sergeant Bart Riley. He's not poisonous? Yes. Do yeah. not recommend this doing this at home. Oh my God. I'm videoing this for our page. Oh, just a little bit. Uh -oh. Oh. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where you going, Cor? Don't let him go. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, ah! That's the only one in here. Now the one screaming <laughs> is Sergeant Brandon Lovell. Oh, that's a cop too. The one screaming. They're both yeah. cops, but no, one what is. What are you gonna uh, do with him now? I just looks like he's on the creek. No, I mean, what are you gonna do with him? Kill the creek? <laughs> Carry him. And it. Oh and what kind is it? What kind of snake is it? And what were you lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not poison. Oh God! Thank y'all. So he's just a yeah, snake. It's a rat snake. Rat snake. So he tricked him. He told him it was venomous. It's not. But you know, you never, you can never be too safe. You never want to go handling snakes without knowing if it's venomous or not. Uh, but you know, we've talked about it before. It's important to respect snakes, even though they're scary. They have an important job. They on have this an earth. important job on this earth, just like everything else. So if you ever come across a snake, call uh, animal control yeah. or your local cops because they're very brave. They're very brave. Very brave. All right, guys, let's move along. Video number two in our count, and we have a grandma who bursts into tears the second that she receives the doll that she always wanted as a child. Let's take a look. <laughs> she crosses herself. Now the story here is really interesting. She was raised in Spain after the Civil War and her family was very impoverished. And she w never had a baby doll growing up. She always wanted a doll of her own. Her family couldn't afford it. And here... Her granddaughter finally bought her a baby doll. <laughs> it's really incredible. I really relate to that because my mom grew up uh, in, in poverty for most of her life. And so finding that video was, was really special for me because you can see that it all came back to her and to finally it meant have. A lot, yeah. It meant a lot. It meant so much to her. And it's, it's just a really incredible footage. I have some pretty good comments about the uh, snake video. Okay, uh, Jennifer ahead. Fairchild said, time to burn down the house. No, I think I saw Chardonnay said that <laughs> too. A few people are, uh, <laughs> no, guys. Don't, don't burn down don't your burn houses. Don't burn down your houses. <laughs> And don't reach, don't go immediately for the shovel. Don't go immediately. Seriously. Sometimes they're rat snakes or I corn know, sometimes snakes, black snakes, garden snakes. King snakes. King There's snakes. so many beautiful snakes. They do really wonderful stuff for our Just, garden. They look terrifying so and much. evil, but they're not I evil. I know. It's they're scary. Not I know they're scary. But, you know, we got to respect life no matter in what creepy, crawly, slithery form it takes. Right? It's all a miracle, right? Yeah. So don't, don't burn down your houses. <laughs> all right, guys. Before we get to video number one in our countdown, we're going to take back. We are here. Video number one. One in our countdown, we have more incredible cops who go above and beyond for a group of ducklings in need. Let's take a look. Video footage provided courtesy of DC Fire and EMS shows how four fire department officers took some time to rescue eight little ducklings which fell into a storm drain on 12th Street and Main oh. Avenue in southwest Washington, D.C. on Monday. The ducklings had been following their mother in a duck parade when they fell between the grates of a storm sewer. D.C. Fire Department staff managed to safely remove them within an hour, placed them in an animal container, and released them back onto grass, them. reuniting them with their mother. The mama duck was quacking with delight to have her little ones by her side again as they waddled over to the pond. There they go. The little family. Be free, little guys. Oh. 
love when cops like, man, we gotta do something about those sewers. We gotta do something about those sewers. Because little baby ducks, it's very they're always falling in there. Baby ducks, baby animals in general. We, yeah, we, always usually once a week, the week uh, we find a story about a baby animal falling you know into a hole. But you know what? Once again, human intervention. You know, what do we need sewers for? Huh? <laughs> Probably a lot. Probably a lot. Probably. Hey yeah. everyone! Hi. We were being baby ducks. We were being notice. baby ducks. Baby <laughs> ducks. <laughs> <laughs> but my name is Paul R. Morris. That's right. And I am here um, because it's the end of the show. And, and that's the part where I come he's on. He's in the show. And I read your comments. Yes. I have some fun. Sometimes we cook something. Yes. And he's my uh, little husband. Mm, yeah, <laughs> we're married, if yeah. you didn't know. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we're going to. Do uh, we're gonna get right to the prayer jar? We have another yes. special announcement. We have two special, two special announcements. announcements. And I want to address Ashley Connor. Uh, one of our sugar cubes asked, w "Are we doing Family Friday again?" And we really want to. We have a lot to work out here. You know, we There's got a lot. we got guests. We got prayer jar. We got uh, what else? We have. That's really it. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's <laughs> but a we lot. We like to okay? complain. We like to complain. <laughs> Complaining it's is really what we important. do. <laughs> it helps you Overwork. vent. Okay, but no, I we, we really want to bring complaints. back. Leave. Family Friday. Yeah, leave your complaints. Leave your complaints. What yeah. are you griping about today? We'll really grind your gears. Grind. Paul you know? is stinky. That's so nice complaint. Stinky. <laughs> yeah, so we, we really want to get back to it. We want to do it again. We had so much fun. I was thinking about you actually last night, Ashley. I reached out to a couple people and I thought, you know, what about Ashley's up to? Hmm. So I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're here. Uh, Vinny Silva says, I knew it was going to be a great show. And uh, if you want to watch more amazing, great shows like this, go to our website. Yes. W. 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 <laughs> Dot L I no. T T L E T H I N G S dot C O M <laughs> slash L I V E. That's www dot little 